All right, in this video, we're going to take this wrist pin and wrist pin bearing, put it back on my engine. Bought the right piston here. Um, this is the, the smaller piston, which I mean it's 21 millimeters from the top to the center pin. Um, so that's the engine I had, and that goes with the long crank arm, <coughs> which is this one here. The one I had before was a shorter crank arm, and that's what that looks like. So the pistons look different. So here's the piston that I'm replacing. What happened was the uh, wrist pin bearings busted up, as usual. <clears throat> and then let's see, I'll, let me show you Here's the other piston. And this is the piston. This is the for the um, shorter crank arm. And it's got more space, 26 millimeters from the center to the top here. So just a little, make sure you get the right piston. All right. So first things first is you want to lube up your little bearing here. So I just take the lid off of here and. You know, I put oil, pure two cycle oil, and just kind of coat that there. Get it nice and lubed generously. All right. Let's throw it in there. Okay, then you want to put your piston on right here. And same thing goes. For that, I like to just generously get those all nice and lubed. And make sure your keys are lined up with your, with your rings. <clears throat> nice thick one here they can send you thinner ones but the metal is thinner and also this one's a little bit longer actually is better there's less play and you just line up your piston a little practice but practice makes perfect and I like to just hit the bottoms here if you need to put a new gasket on don't forget to do so because this one's kind of busted up but that'll be fine it'll still work it's got a tear in it put that down and you want to make sure you get your, your rings and your your clips here pinch that okay and the other side Same thing with your cylinder. Take the jug and you, you just coat it generously. Make sure it's not dripping though. You don't want to make a mess on the carpet if you're doing it in an apartment <clears throat> like me. So, okay, make sure your ports are proper. And here we go. So, so, let's tap this down here. And just clean that off real quick. Okay. 
Take your regular washers first. Regular washers. Okay. You want to do it cross pattern here. Okay, let's get back onto your muffler. Line up the holes. It's important. Do the final tightening. With your good sturdy wrench here, good old sturdy wrench. Mm. Mm. All right, throw this puppy on there. All righty. Okay, and then you want to take your. Your um, carburetor gasket, your intake, your intake manifold. <laughs> okay, and then these I put on a new line here because the other one was getting short and tight. So this one I have a very tight fit with this guy here. So I gotta finagle it. Do some finagling. Okay, here we go. Let's put our hose on. Boom. Got a little hose clamp on it. All right. And last but not least. And then actually, finger tight is best. Finger tight. Ah, three finger tight though. All right. Hose on. That's on. Heads on tight, tight. Thanks for watching.